Hey YouTube, it's your boy Nate the Great, and I'm back for another video, man. I know I say this damn near every video, but you know I'm back. <laughs> I've just been busy with school and um, a lot of stuff, so I really haven't had the time to be on Roblox much. I know you guys are really um, cu curious and wanted more updates on my Friday the 13th project, and I promise those are on the way. Just give me some time to get back into the swing of things, but those are on the way, I promise. I really hope um, in the next couple of weeks I can start uploading videos how I used to, like almost once a week. That's my goal. So if you guys don't see me uploading like that, you guys have to let me know on my Discord server. Um, join the server. Link is in the description. You guys are really the only people that motivate me. So like when I get texts on Discord, messages from Discord saying that's like, oh, you you have good stuff good stuff keep working it really motivates me to work like harder even though like i'm doing this for <clears throat> for really nothing i'm just doing this for fun so yeah you can just join the discord server but today this youtube video i plan on making something different um i know for the last couple months all my content was on friday the 13th or in 1981 as it's called now but today the project i want to work on is something like a side project um I've seen this game, and I've looked through it. It's called The Forest. I don't know. I really like that type of game. I always was, like, interested in the fact of, like, creating a game where you have, like, the ability to, like, build. And, like, you'd have to wait till, like, nighttime and the zombies would come out. You know what I mean? And then, like, you can use your resources that you found. And uh, you could, like, kill zombies at night. <laughs> that type of game. You know, the, that role-playing type of game. So... What I created here is just going to be a side project. And, like, once in a while, I'll, I'll throw out devlogs. It depends on if this gains traction or not. Um, I'll make another video if we get 15 likes. 15 likes for another video of this devlog. So, right now, I've picked up a, um, a starter character. It's just going to be used as a placeholder for now. Um, what I want especially for this project is a completely whole new camera system it won't rely on roblox's default camera system as well as i want a whole entire brand new um animation system which is gonna suck because i'm not gonna use the default animate script i'm just gonna completely write my own but you know it is what it is am i right so yeah if you guys want to see the script changes um, comment that in the description. If you want me to write the script on in the video, I will. But for the sake of time, I'm just not going to do that. I'm just going to um, just cut to the next clip where I make it. So first things first, I'm going to make the animation script, and I'll cut back when I'm done with that. So yeah. So I actually decided to work on the camera system first just because of the fact that I already had a camera system in Friday the 13th in the game so really I just kind of yoinked and then plop <laughs> and but then I really just added some some uh, a re realism effect uh, depended on how fast the mouse turns uh, so it kind of creates a lerped camera effect you'll see how when we play um, so essentially it, it I know that don't mind the animations there's nothing right here but Obviously, as you can go, there's an over-the-shoulder camera, and the faster you go, the faster uh, it lerps back to normal. Uh, as you can see, I think it's cool, cool effect. There's also a first-person element. Okay, that's a little bit wonky. Um, we're gonna fix that, but yeah, first-person element, which is going. I think the way the direction I'm gonna create this game is that there will be third-person and first-person. Um, so that basically means no um ads for the guns or like you can't scope in but who really cares honestly that's just less work for me um so yeah we're going to have it in both i'm gonna fix this real quick and then i'm going to import my animations and i'll cut back to that Whew, i never want to do that again um yeah so I created my own animation system 
Uh, that was not fun at all whatsoever. Yeah. Uh, basically, the purpose I was going for was I wanted it to be accessible for all platforms. Kind of like thinking ahead. I know. I'm very smart. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But, um, yeah. I didn't really tackle it the normal way. I mean, I did. I used the user input service only for um, keyboard. Just because I want, when you're, when you're playing on PC, I wanted for you to be able to sprint by holding down the shift. Um, but, yeah. But for... Um, Xbox and um, mobile, there's a button. I haven't made Xbox controls yet, but I can literally just import it right here. Because all I have to do is just add a, a key. Probably make it like L2 or something. But yeah, um, the way I, to dumb it down, the way I did it was I just checked the direction where the, hum the person was walking. So like there's a float direction kind of. Then you just compared it to the camera, see the camera look vector, like which way the camera was looking. And from that, you can get a number, and essentially, you can tell which way uh, you're going. So, if you were holding all, like all right, like you're the D key, you're going all right. It could tell that you were going all right. If you're holding the left A or going all left, it could tell that you're going left. Same way as uh, going forward and backward. Okay, but just essentially, it just takes your um, your move direction in relation to the camera. And then that's how you figure out if you're sprinting right, left, forward, downward, and if you're um, strafing, essentially. So I have two. Um, I have two sets of animations: the core animations, and then the sprinting animations. So like the core animations are just like your normal ones, your WASD keys, or your just your normal walking, and the sprinting ones are just your sprinting that's pretty straightforward actually <laughs> yeah so yeah depending on if you're holding shift or if your sprint value is true on depends on the device that you could be sprinting or not so when we play the final result comes to this here we are let load in i also added footsteps imported my friday the 13th footsteps so here you're walking you're walking you can go in first person you're walking there's a little bit i'm gonna fix that don't worry you're walking all good all good right see that nice camera system then you can sprint in first person see that that's cool that's cool you could sprint right you can walk right you can uh, walk left sprint left walk backwards sprint backwards then you can go out of first person shoulder camera you can walk like this like this walk like this like this you can walk backwards walk forwards and you can sprint you can sprint walk this you can sprint strafe this way as well move forward with it maybe I have to do something with the transitions it doesn't look this doesn't look very realistic but you know it's not that bad you can sprint backwards like this like this yeah essentially that's pretty much it to be honest um, so I think this concludes the first episode of the uh, video stamina system coming soon um, if you want to see a second video I need 15 likes on this and uh, I'd be happy to make a second video because I'm probably gonna work on this project anyways it just depends on if I record or not but I know Friday the 13th videos will be coming I promise you they'll be coming I just need some time just to get back into the flow of things so yeah um, it's been your boy Nate the Great and I'm out.